All right, now we're going to be setting up so that it runs when it sees us, and then it actually like stops moving once we hit it and it dies. All right. So first things first, we're going to want to set up a Boolean variable. What you're going to do is you're going to come over to this variables tab that's underneath your blueprint. You're going to click new variable. For me, it's going to come up with already a Boolean. I'm going to hit it as is hit, but say yours doesn't come up as a Boolean. You can go over into this tab here, click this drop down, and you get all of these ones. You're going to select Boolean. Now, first we're going to compile it, which will allow us to have this little check mark here. We don't need to set this to anything, but it's nice to know that it's there if we need to change it. Next, we're going to drop in our is hit, and we're going to get is hit. So this is going to be our Boolean statement. What are we going to do with it? Well, we're going to get a branch. This is a true or false statement, which is going to check, okay, is he hit? If he is hit, this is all, that's all going to go down here. But if he's not hit, we're going to play an animation. So we're going to go play animation, which is going to be the skeletal mesh. So our skeletal mesh, play animation here. We're going to choose our animation, and we're going to pick our running one, which is going to be our treadmill running. Don't need to change anything else here. Um, sorry. All right. So now we're going to go down to this part here, which is going to be our once he is shot. So from here, we're going to keep our disable movement. We're going to keep the play animation, but these last two here, we don't need them in that order anymore. So now we're going to play the animation. Um, we're going to play the animation. We're going to destroy, uh, destroy actor. We're going to take this destroy actor and we're going to link it with the projectile. So that's going to delete the bullet once it's hit. For me personally, I have my game set up so that any bullet I shoot stays in the game. This just helps to kind of clean up clutter and it kind of makes sense. Once it gets hit, the bullet's gone. It's inside of him. It's gone, right? All right. So now once the actor is destroyed, we're going to actually grab this is hit again, drop it down there and we're going to set is hit. Drag it in there, and we're going to click this little checkbox here. That's going to set is hit to true, so now it's no longer going to play this treadmill running animation. Now we're going to give it a delay. The delay will be four seconds for me. You can change it to whatever you want it to be, so that it is up to however your game is made. And then from that delay, we are going to destroy the actor again and the target is itself. This should all come together quite nicely. We'll save it up, we'll click play, and then we'll make our way over to our guy. This is my guy here. He's running towards us very nicely. No little jittering, no lag. You give him a quick shot, and he is dead now. And there you go. Now you've fixed up and made it so that when your character sees you, he starts to chase after you. And when you shoot him, he's dead.